as usual, spoiler free. Why do I get the feeling that I'm gonna make a lot of enemies with this one? I can start with some of the good. Hopkins is probably the best thing about this. Um, he gets some pretty good dialogue and he delivers it impeccably. The effects are fantastic. Um, I think it was the right thing to go with a non-CGI Wolfman himself. Uh, the transformations are CGI, and um, the creature itself is, you know, makeup, prosthetics, that stuff. It's it's good looking. It's you know the the Victorian setting is well done. The plot's reasonable. The plot twist is also fairly decent. I didn't see it coming, personally. It certainly isn't boring. I, um, I can't claim I was engaged or involved all that much, but I wasn't bored. I wasn't hoping for it to end soon. Um, it felt like, you know, it ended relative. I mean, it, it didn't bore me. I did not at any point think, like, you know, is this thing never gonna end? Um, you know, when I sensed that the ending was, the end was nigh, I thought, ah, this soon already, you know. And early on they even, you know, do the, the smart thing, the effective thing, and hide uh, the creature so that, you know, it will be all the more effective, although he does, you know, get to be overexpo overexposed soon enough. And with that, we're into the bad. This movie has no atmosphere. There's, there's, I, it tries to build a mood to establish atmosphere. It never succeeds. Almost every single scare is one of those lame, cheap jump scares, and almost none of them pay off. The theater I watched it in was pretty packed. I barely heard, I don't think I heard a single reaction, certainly not a positive one, uh, to anything that was meant to be scary, or even one of the handful of, uh, handful of things that was supposed to be funny. The cast is fantastic, but it really didn't need to be Hugo Weaving. It didn't need to be Benicio del Toro. They're giving no they're given nothing to work with. The characters have zero personality. There's barely anyone to care about, if anyone at all. I don't know. I can't particularly really recommend this movie. I haven't actually seen all that many werewolf stories. Uh, I hear an American Werewolf in London is really good. I'm gonna watch it. It's on the list. I don't know. The only one I have seen that I can sort of recommend is Wolf, and I can't really recommend that one. It's not that good. But yeah, this one, if you just gotta see the Wolfman on the big screen, you could do worse, I will give them that. You could do worse. And there probably are worse werewolf movies out there. There are worse werewolf movies out there. Bad Moon! Those who watch this review and have watched the movie and completely disagree with me I'm not saying you're wrong, just please try to consider, think hard, were you really scared, or did it just make you jump? Are we seriously supposed to buy that that 
doctors didn't hear all that growling and noise and I mean is he that absorbed in just this long speech about how safe the guy behind him is? Why do like half the people in the village know the legend and the other half just have no clue? I mean it's a village. It would get around. They mention at one point that like 300 people live in the village. They'd all know the legend. Isn't it sad how the first scare of the film is literally caused by chickens? I don't quite know if it was intentional or not, but I'm sorry, that wolf boy looked like Gollum. I'm sorry, he did. Look at my eyes, Del Toro, and you can see that they are dead, just like when I was in Beowulf. I am familiar with monsters, but uh, not combs. This bear can't hurt anyone. He's clearly CGI. You can thank Sing when he gets back from the market for existing so that I could reference him to the townspeople. Yeah. Aha! I've got you exactly where I want you. Now let me just howl loudly so I can attract everyone in the vicinity before I do anything to hurt you. 